When it comes to designing spaceships for a TV show, some designs have a long and lengthy design process with multiple iterations. This was clearly the case with the Rocinante and the Donager. However, sometimes the design process is quite straightforward. This can happen for many reasons. Maybe the production knows exactly what they want and the concept artists are able to deliver a final design without many iterations. Sometimes there just isn't enough time and concepts need to be streamlined to fit a deadline. For whatever reasons, the designs of the UN and Nathan Hale were streamlined without many iterations. In this video, I'll be talking about the development and early concept art of the UN and Nathan Hale. Much like other designs, Northfront started by creating some quick thumbnails of the Nathan Hale. Do any of these stand out to you? What about design E? The production clearly liked design E because a 3D model and a more detailed render was created from that initial sketch. Here is a 3D model of the Nathan Hale. And as you can see, it's pretty simple, but the detail in the final render is put on using various textures and painting overlay techniques. While inspecting the 3D model, I came across a person standing on a platform attached to the ship. This was made for a concept of Fred Johnson looking over the destruction of Anderson Station. Here he is standing on a ship, which is the same Leonidas class battleship as the Nathan Hale. Going back to the exterior of the Nathan Hale, this is the final piece of concept art. With the sketch over here and a 3D model below that, Sci-Fi even posted this piece of concept art to their site. The concept art and 3D model are then sent to a VFX vendor who will finalize the design by rebuilding the model with textures and adding high poly details. Here I have a turntable of the final VFX model. One of the reasons why the UNN Nathan Hale design was streamlined could be because it was designed further into season one when we already established the general look for the ships. Because of this, there is less of an exploration phase like we saw early on with the Rocinante. It could be that the production clearly knew what they wanted and was able to get a quick result because of that. It is super interesting to see the inception of a design to its final product and that is why I make these videos. If you want to support me to continue making videos like this, please consider wishlisting my game on Steam called The Indigo Parallel. It comes out in November, and thanks for watching.